Hello and welcome to Valheim and in this episode or today we are going to do a bit of a experiment so to speak. Uh, we are going to do some structural integrity and if you have seen any of my short videos uh, you can probably easily recognize that this is where I recorded those now if you're interested in that information i will leave a card uh, a card for you to gain quick access to a playlist which contains all of that and you should see it in the upright corner the uppermost right corner on the screen about now so if we get our hud on and see if I also might get the notes that I need for this. So I sort of have a guideline on what I'm supposed to do. Now, this right here is going to be all about walls and roofs to see, sort of see is walls and roofs difference now the roofs the thatch roof is since it's not a horizontal completely horizontal or completely vertical i'm a bit interested to see if it's going to be different and if for example the half block of wood uh, like wood wall half block has the same structural integrity as the normal piece or if it's worse so let's start this by setting things up i also need this one to test just to prep for a thing and we need this And let's see. I need. Now I need to check. By placing. Now you can see the first one is blue, which means it's a foundation block. And anything. Whoops. That was not the correct placement for that. And this is creative because it would be a pain to do anything else. Okay, so that is the limit. Okay, good to know. Let's see if we can get all the way up to the same height. If we can't, it means that building in half blocks will affect things in a negative manner. It seems like it's holding, yeah. And if we add this one, it breaks. Okay, so it's equivalent it's the same structural integrity regardless of if you use the full block or the half block so using the half blocks doesn't affect the stru structural integrity of your build which is good that means you can actually use half the half wall blocks uh, without having to worry um of course if you make a window like if we go down and do just very quickly do if you do a window like this the piece here will of course affect structural integrity 
but just using the half blocks doesn't affect it. So let's pick this up so we're not littering. Uh, let's toss you away because I don't really need you. Okay, so we have this. It is... What is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. That is... And it's 2 meter pieces. Uh, that means it is... Is it equivalent to this one? I think it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five, six, seven, eight. Yes, it is exactly the same as the wood pole. So it behaves the same because it's the same material. Now, it sounds really obvious that that's the case, but... Mm, not always uh, going to be the case. Uh, what you need to take into consideration is that this is also, um, instead of being a one by two, it's two by two. So it's that could have been made uh, something to take into consideration when it comes to structural integrity that. Since it's wider, it has a, a bigger base, so structural integrity is greater. But that is not the case. So that is test tested. And what we need to see next is roofs. Roofs, roof, roof. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing for floor, just with these, and see if... it has any major impact there's a one two three is that foundation yes it is let's redo this i think i need to redo the the floor please uh piece Um, yeah, let's put you there. That means... Hmm, wait a second. This is a... This is obviously considered blue. Yeah, as I, th as, as I thought, it shouldn't be... The wall piece should not be blue. It should not be considered a foundation block. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. So, if you use floor and it's a bit off the ground, so that the wall isn't blue... Uh, you will actually lose one in height, which is good to know. Good to know. And this should... One second. Uh, I want to take my structural integrity note with all my numbers uh, so with stone as foundation uh, it should be five no it should it should be 16 shouldn't it one two three four Seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Uh, 
One second when I think I will be right back. Okay, so I have been looking at this and it seems like it doesn't really matter what what happens when it when you use stone is probably let's check that yeah what what happens when you use stone is that the the wall piece become foundation which means it's blue so you can get all the eight pieces as if it was attached to the ground whereas if you use the wood floor that is not the case um so that is actually a difference where the stone might help you but it doesn't give you more other than thanks to the first wall piece being foundation now the next thing to test is roof uh, let's check this so we have one U of uh, you it is now foundation how many can we put down oh I think we have we have one two three four five so five when it comes to the 26 degrees five is the limit what about the 45 degree is it going to be any different so we have five and six break so there we go we have we can see that when it comes to using a, a roof piece in terms of structural integrity it doesn't matter which one you use so it comes down to how you want to build and depending on the rest of the building one might be better to quickly get from one side to the other the they do reach what is it yeah they do reach exactly the same length but since the 45 degree is slightly steeper it means that to actually it might mean that you need one piece more to attach it to say the other side where you building the same in the same manner um of course it depends on your build but the next thing um is to see we now test to see if there's any difference in the roofs they're not the more or less the same uh let's see if we use a wall piece and let's test in one of you as well let's get that up a bit and since it is foundation let's test this just to see yep it's considered foundation so that's the strength of a stone and since we know that both of these are the same i will use the same one just to test this here And as we can see, the wall is foundation, which I mean it's blue, but this first roof piece is not, so we should only be able to have four. Yep, and that is the case. Now, with this, we should be able to have five. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, 
yes and number six breaks yeah so uh, one thing that i really really am interested in seeing is if i make a new wall one two three four five six seven eight which is the max amount and take one of these and put you the other way around i thought i set that to oh I didn't set the weather. Uh, anyway, one, two, three, four, and five. That's... So, what I want to see is if I actually set these. Not any different kind of materials, just the same regular wood. And see, can I? I, I don't think I can, but I want to see if it actually helps. No. As far as that is concerned, it hasn't helped. If I put one more, it shouldn't have made any difference. Nope. Okay, so for walls, adding like support doesn't do anything. Now, if we, however, use this, it should be different because it's a longer piece and it's core wood. So we should technically be able to add at least one. Yeah, one more. Can we go another one? No. Okay. And yeah, but it makes sense because what what we're doing is moving the the blue foundation up one block extra, meaning this and this is supported by this instead of the one at the bottom. So it is, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense that we are able to gain one more. Which could be the small amount that you would need to make sure your building is standing completely. And last but not least, before we wrap this up, let's check the, the same thing for these. Now I need to make sure that I put you in the correct spot and this should not work and it isn't working. Okay. Now there is no, there is no um, core wood option for this. There is no wood iron beam option for this. So I think what we need to do is do this, which is sort of what, uh, wrong button, which is sort of what you might uh, do, support it from the ground and up in a building and see, we should technically be able to make one more. And we can. So. As long as this is foundation as much as possible, um, if we, for example, do like that, remove you, so we're not, not only do we have one more there, and let's see if we can add yet another one. No, we cannot. Hmm. 
So if we then place you there, so we have, because that means we have foundation all the way to here. That's one, two, three, four. It might be the limit. Yeah, I think that's the limit. But yeah, you can add a bit of... Um, you can add a bit of uh, structural integrity by adding support. If you place it correctly and use the right material. Now, wood iron uh, poles uh, like these beams would probably be the, your best option. Uh, when you, you do these kind of supports. Uh, but yeah, regardless, if you're using wall, like thatch wall and uh, rather roof, thatch roof and wall, wooden walls, uh, you need to use at least uh, core wood, like log pile, uh, poles or uh, wood iron poles, because if you're not, you're not going to add more structural integrity because... If you try to use wood and do the same thing, uh, you're not shifting the the foundation in any way, then it's not going to do anything. It's just going to add more things to it without actually adding any structural integrity. Which I think is good to know. That way you can uh, build exactly how you want and maybe be a bit more creative in your aesthetic endeavors, so to speak. However, I will just end this by saying uh, when building, be careful with um, getting blocks damaged because it does affect structural integrity to some degree. Uh, how much? I might have to do a more in-depth check. But my quick analysis is that it's when it's at 50% uh, from weather damage. Where you might see some uh, stuff breaking, but uh, before that I don't think it's going to happen and it's it's not all things that break either it's like edge cases however this is 23 minutes long it's a bit longer than I wanted to but I think I went through all of it we have as I said we have tested the walls both kind of walls and we have uh, checked to see if the two kind of floor pieces impacts it and the answer is yes we have checked to see if there's a difference between the two roof pieces um like the different angle versions and also check to see if it gets affected by what the supporting material is and the answer is yes the same thing with the with the walls and we have also checked to see if like these supports and structural integrity to your walls. And the answer is yes, if you use the next level of material. So, this is where this testing is going to end. I have a lot more to test and I have a lot of ideas of what I could be doing. I even had have an idea of how to automate certain things with just clever building. So I think we will end this here if my character can stand still. Apparently not. Oh, because you're... There we go. In the rain with a bit of sunshine. That is perfect ending. So I think I just want to say like the video if you if you've found this really helpful and useful like the video it would be super awesome if you did if 
If not, dislike, whatever you do you. And I will have to come back and do some more testing in another episode. So we will now end here and say thanks for watching. Goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.